Welcome to the Daily Standup, a place where both dev and ops can be heard. In today's episode of the Daily Standup, we're going to talk about creating meaningful telemetry that helps both uh, developers and SREs. I'm Mel Delgado, SRE and developer advocate at Cisco. I'm Denise Kwan, software engineer and developer advocate. In today's daily standup, we're going to be talking about two user stories. So the first user story is, as an SRE, I want the following metrics to be added to the application. So the first one is informative logging, and the other one are application metrics. So let's start with the informative logging. So for informative logging, it's a nitpick of mine, okay? So I'm just going to put it out there that some of the, the messages coming through are a little bit cryptic for me. Uh, so uh, I think you might even be able to think of some examples off the top of your head. I can't at the moment, but they're just so cryptic that I really don't know what that means. I have to go look at a run book, and if it hasn't been written yet as to give me a clue as to what's going on, then I'm going to have a hard time with that. Um, so I just wanted to put it out there. Something that's super descriptive about this is happening in this section like so would help me out tremendously. And I'll tell you one of the reasons why. One of the reasons why is because a lot of times that those metrics come through uh, through all the way into our uh, alerting. So if it's something we need to take action on and in the middle of the night, if I get this obscure message about a method, something, something, I, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Like, in the middle of the night, I had to somehow figure this out and then I have to start troubleshooting to see if I can work around the problem. So what do you think of that? So you don't like my messages that I say <laughs> in here? Like... Like, I thought that those were really descriptive I for you. I like them, but they could be better. <laughs> hmm. Well, I totally agree with you. I have seen some logging that does say in here or whatever method that it's in. Um, obviously, it would be good to know some, especially if there's like arguments or like variable information. But the only problem is, is like, it can get expensive too, especially if you're doing counters or something that you have to keep up with um, that is not already a variable. Obviously, if it's a variable, it's just a matter of output. But um, logging can get very expensive. So I think that the best route is to really come together from dev and ops to sit down and explain to each other what is the logging that should be seen. I think a lot of times devs just make an assumption of what should be there just because it helps them debug while they're coding and not necessarily looking at it from an end-to-end -end perspective um, because a lot of times what they're doing is coding just that one specific thing and um, you know like I said come together have that communication and decide because it's very application specific obviously something with logging is going to have or with login is going to have different logging than something that does not it sounds like we're going to need to be a little bit more verbose and um, add some specificity to uh, the user story, which, which we can do, and we'll do that. All right, so the next one is application uh, metrics. And specifically, I don't want to like confine it to the area of security, but just you know, a little bit more information as to what the application is doing. And this is just for our sake and, and, and the application we're talking about here. But at things like uh, a user login um, uh, or failed login attempts. So in other words, what I'm looking for are things that can help me distinguish between a security event and a security incident, perhaps, or anything else that would be useful to know about the application. Since, as you mentioned earlier, you have that, that, that flow in mind, uh, something that kind of lets me latch on to that flow or at least try to understand what's going on with that flow, especially when something goes sideways. I think, you know, it's the same thing as the logging, right? Definitely need to have that communication between ops and devs um, because, yeah, like some devs like to just plop all the data there. And that can't, that's not necessarily useful either, right? Because when there's so much data, you're wasting a lot of performance as well as giving things that probably ops is like, I don't need this stuff. Like, what's the point? Sometimes too much information is a little bit of clutter. Um, and then you got on the flip side of like not enough information. And so we got to find a balance where we need to understand what data is needed and what data is important because everything that we add, whether that's logging, whether that's metrics, 
that's costly. And, um, you know, it, it's just something that we don't want to just plop everything like the, the kitchen sink in. Um, and so I think bottom line is have a communication between each other and discuss what is actually good for the application because all this stuff is application specific. And so speaking of performance and load on the system, um, I have a user story. The second user story is as a developer, I want the following metrics to be added in the application. Um, big one, CPU and memory usage so that the application can know when it needs to maybe not take in more requests or flip over to the other side. Um, you know, something that's going to let it know that something's going on. Network sat status, again, rather than waiting for a timeout or something to not work and then retries, you know, we can have a faster failover if I'm just told, hey, the network's down, flip over to the other side. Is that available from the infrastructure? Yeah, and there's there there are many ways of doing that. Um, one way is that you can ask the operating system directly, um, uh, or what you could do is to maybe, and this might this be an idea. And we got we got to experiment with it a little bit, but let's just say we're using uh, a Prometheus exporter, right? Maybe you could tap into the Prometheus exporter, use the API, call the API, and. Uh, basically ask it for what, you know, the resources that you're looking for. So that could be CPU, memory, um, and so forth, right? So if, if that would be uh, helpful, we could show you how in our infrastructure and pass those metrics on to you uh, in real time. Yeah, that would be, I mean, I, the biggest thing for me, I've always thought is like the whole network, like I said, failover has always been a pain point for most applications. You know, obviously when something goes down, every minute that it's down can be a lot of money for the for the customer and so if we can get a faster failover then that would make customers happy and um, make everything just so much easier and a lot of times a failover is due to a network and if we can get that information right away that would be wonderful but these two stories are great i think again bottom line we need to communicate with each other and come up with what exactly is the ideal between for the application and what we can get from the infrastructure absolutely it's it's been dev and ops together so what are your user stories uh add that to our backlog by leaving us a comment below and we'll catch you on the next daily stand-up <laughs>